YouTube, what's the deal? It's your girl Jahira and I am back. Hey y'all. Um, I wanted to come in and talk to y'all um, because again, uh, during my little hiatus, there were issues that I didn't really get a chance to address. And it's not so much that I'm playing catch up now as much as it is that I feel very convicted that some of the issues um, require my attention and, and sort of require my own interpretation of them. And one of these issues, which is now over a month old, but still feels much like yesterday because new information is pouring forth, is the issue of Trayvon Martin's death. I have been so pleased and, and so proud to see the YouTube community stand up and express whatever it is they're feeling about Trayvon Martin's death. In, in most cases, it's been outrage. Um, I actually shared the video that uh, my homegirl, Nothing's Impossible 77, who is a brilliant woman, um, put forth regarding Trayvon Martin. And in, I, I guess I feel as though it's not enough. It's not enough to um, be content to, to stand in the remnant of what another person has done, despite how brilliantly it was executed. Um, Trayvon Martin's death is absolutely relevant to everything that I stand for. Y'all, I'm about to move y'all. And everything that this channel stands for. Because where, where injustice lives and unanswered questions remain, there too must I be. I was speaking to my mother. Um, I hadn't really had a chance to catch up with her in a while. And so I, I called her yesterday. And we had a really brief conversation, and I hung up the phone. You know, we were just kind of talking about just some necessary stuff. It wasn't really anything personal. Um, and then as soon as I hung up, I just felt really, really convicted. And so I called her right back. And I said, Ma, you know, I just want you to know sort of what's been going on in my life and what's been going on with me. And I, I told her that I've been very on top of um, the petition on change.org. Um demanding the prosecution of George Zimmerman, or at least the arrest of George Zimmerman. We're still waiting on that one. Um, and she, she just said to me in a way that, you know, only my mother can. You know, my mother's a woman in her 60s, and she said, you know, I look at that story, and it breaks my heart because that could have been my, you know what I mean? He could have been my child, and he could have been you. And And, and it's just... There's something so simplistically profound about that statement that really struck a chord within me. Trayvon's, Trayvon Martin's death and, and the way his death has been treated and now the way that his death is being spun um, is unconscionable and, and absolutely relevant to, to all of us, to all of our situations. While it is my personal belief that this was an act that was motivated by race, this is not a black-white issue. This is not a black-Hispanic issue. This is an, an issue of innocence until proven guilty. And I say that to say, any woman wearing a miniskirt doing cartwheels down a dark alley is not inviting a rape. And any young man of color with a, a can of iced tea and a bag of Skittles in his hand is not an invitation to the end of his life. There's so much that's going to be coming out regarding um, the circumstances under which he died. But here's what we know. A 17-year-old boy with presumably his entire life ahead of him was tragically 
robbed of the opportunity to experience life as an adult. A mother who put her son into incredibly capable hands for a weekend or a holiday, fully preparing to see her child again, will now never have the opportunity to. And that hurts me to my heart. For those of you who do not know about the petition on change.org, the link will absolutely be below. And I, I'm not just asking, I'm not even just begging for you to sign it. I am asking you to sign it. I am asking you to share it. Encourage your friends, your family, your mother, your dog, your dog's mother, every single person that you know with access to a computer to sign this petition. And for me personally, just me, I personally, this is not about let's lock George Zimmerman up and throw away the key without knowing or, or, or being able to have this man tried. Let's take this thing through the system as far as it can possibly go. But right now, the nothing that has been done about this is, I wish I had the word. It's not, I can't call it frustrating. I can't call it criminal. I can't call it mystifying. It's just so past unbelievable to me that in this day, like that anything like this could possibly go on in 2012. Over 2 million people have stepped up to the plate and signed this petition. I thank God for each and every single one of them. And now I am asking it of you. I am begging it of you. We need answers. We need answers. No matter what they are, we need answers. And they will only come. Trayvon's life and, and the, the meaning and purpose behind his life can only be actualized by our response to what has taken place. It is our reaction, it is our proactivity that, that will determine whether his existence was lived in vain or not. Once again, the petition will be below. Y'all are going to hear me talk about this again. Be prepared now. And um, please sign, 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 sign and share. I've never asked y'all to do this thing for me before, but if, if sharing this video means that one more person attaches their name to something as completely necessary as this is, please share this video. It's not about me. I don't need to be famous. It has nothing to do with that. But we cannot allow this to go quietly into that good night. We absolutely cannot. Please, please, please sign the petition. Sign the petition. I love you. I will be back very soon. One love.